Florence greeted Dougal, who seemed to be in need of a little care and attention. "'You seem very pleased to see me,' said Florence. "'Oh, I am, I am,' said Dougal. "'I am.' "'Why particularly?' said Florence. "'Oh, I don't know,' said Dougal. "'I was feeling a bit low, I suppose. Where have you gone?' "'I'm here,' said Florence. "'And I'm a bit worried about you, Dougal.' "'Oh, really? Why?' said Dougal. Hmm? You seem sad, said Florence. No, no, I'm not sad, said Dougal. Then what is it, said Florence. Nothing, said Dougal. I think it's something, said Florence. Well, if you promise not to laugh, I'll tell you, said Dougal. But only if you promise not to laugh. I won't tell you if you don't promise, so you'd better promise, hadn't you? Hmm? Promise? Promise? Hmm? I promise, said Florence. Well, I want to have a go on the roundabout because I've never been, said Dougal quickly. But that's easy, said Florence, and she called Zebedee. Easy! He won't come, said Dougal, sadly. But he did. Small request, said Florence, briskly. Request away, said Zebedee. Oh, I feel such a fool, said Dougal. Fancy wanting to go on a roundabout at my age. It's pathetic. Pathetic. Florence explained to Zebedee about Dougal. Don't put yourself out said Dougal. But Zebedee said it would be no trouble at all. He would be absolutely delighted, and hoped they'd both enjoy themselves. Dougal was overcome. I'm, uh, I'm very grateful, he said. I know I'm grumpy and don't deserve it. <laughs> Go on like that and you won't get it, said Zebedee. Oh, come on, said Florence. Let's go. Dougal arrived sedately to find Florence waiting. I'm arriving, he said. Well, this is it, said Florence. It's lovely, said Dougal, climbing on. Doesn't go very fast, does it? Doesn't go at all until you start it, said Mr. Rusty. Dougal apologised for his ignorance. I'm not used to high living, he said. I'm just a poor country dog with no experience of the big wide world. No experience at all. Well, are you ready? said Mr. Rusty. And Dougal said he was very ready. Thank you. Florence thought Dougal was rather overdoing the humility, but she didn't say anything, and Mr. Rusty started things off. Enjoying it? They asked. Dougal wasn't too sure. Lovely sensation, isn't it? said Mr. Rusty. But again, Dougal wasn't too sure. I'm not too sure, he said. And, er, uh, if you, uh, if you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, uh, get off. <clears throat> I'll, uh, go try it here. I think I'll, uh, just, uh, <clears throat> get off, if you don't mind. <laughs> get off, off, off. Mm. All right, Dougal. Oh, yes, yes, lovely, said Dougal. Lovely. It's, uh, it's absolutely lovely. I just feel sick, that's all. <laughs> 